x plus 1, x minus 3, negative x plus 8, 2x plus 5, and 7x minus 6. What's the difference between these expressions? The first two are known as a monic because the coefficient in front of the leading terms are both positive 1. The other three terms use negative 1, 2, and positive 7. These are known as non-monics because it's not positive 1. The term monic comes from the word mono, which means 1. As I mentioned in my previous video, synthetic division can only be done when your polynomial divides a monic expression. So if you divide a polynomial by a non-monic, technically you can't use synthetic division. But there is a technique to turn a non-monic into a monic so that synthetic division can work. So let's have a look at how this works in today's video and do some synthetic division with it. G'day guys, this is the math base. So here we have x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 3, which is a non-monic because of the 2. So let's just set up our synthetic division bracket and numbers first. Everything here is still done the same way with one exception. The divisor that we put outside will be a little bit different because we're not dividing a monic anymore. So looking at 2x plus 3, Equate that to 0 and solve for x. That number, negative 3 on 2, that becomes your new divisor. And here's the special move where we turn a non-monic into a monic. Take the 2 at the front of the x, the thing that's making it non-monic, and divide your answer by 2. So whatever you're going to find in your synthetic division, you'll need to take that and divide by 2 later. So now if we just go through the motions of doing synthetic division, adding and multiplying as we go, we'll end up with these numbers, 1, negative half, negative 1 on 4, and negative 5 on 8. Put these together into a quotient and remainder, and we have x squared minus 1 on 2, x minus 1 on 4, minus 5 on 8 times something. That something is supposed to be the divisor but we can't say it's 2x plus 3 right now because technically we did a different kind of division here. To know what that is, all you need to do is take 2x plus 3 and factorize 2 from it. Remember, when you're factoring, you're actually dividing everything inside the brackets with that factor. So we end up with 2 times x plus 3 on 2. And so that becomes our divisor. And it's a temporary divisor. Now when you divide everything by 2, we'll end up with x squared on 2 minus x on 4 minus 1 on 8 minus 5 on 8 times 2x plus 3. So that temporary divisor goes back to being what it used to be, 2x plus 3, and you simply put the 8 next to that as a factor. So basically, you can use synthetic division when you're dividing non-monic expressions. It's just that you have to remember that when you have found your answer, you need to divide it by the number that's making it non-monic and that'll fix everything. Okay, let's try another question. x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 1. So again, here we have a non-monic because there's a 2 in front of the x and our first step is to solve that divisor so that we can figure out what to use for our synthetic division. Solving 2x minus 1 equal to 0 gives us x as positive half. Okay, so that's going to go in later. Step two is to factorize the divisor. That'll tell us how to write the answer, the temporary answer. So 2x minus 1, factorize the 2, and we're left with x minus half inside. That's going to be our temporary divisor. The third step, which is the most important step, is to remember to divide by 2 at the end of your answer because 2 is the number we have in front of our non-monic expression. So go ahead and do the synthetic division, set everything up, put the positive half outside, start adding and multiplying everything until you get to the remainder. So here we have 1, negative half, 3 on 4, negative 13 on 8, and 3 on 16. So from here, remember, your answer is going to divide by 2. You can write that as a half outside, so half times whatever you're going to write as your quotient and your remainder, which is x cubed minus x squared on 2 plus 3x on 4 minus 13 on 8 plus 3 on 16 times 
that temporary divisor x minus half. So again, that information was generated from the numbers we found in our division. If you're not sure how I did that, then please have a look at my previous video, which explains how I turned the blue numbers into the black numbers. Okay, so if we just times everything by half or divide by two, then we have x cubed on two minus x squared on four plus three x on eight minus 13 on 16 plus three on 16 times your original divisor, 2x minus 1. And that is your answer. From here, you could also rewrite the polynomial, just in terms of the divisor multiplying the quotient and adding the remainder separately. The answer we found from before was simply the result of dividing, whereas the, this expression I just wrote is a rewritten or rephrased version of the quartic polynomial that we were trying to divide before. Okay, so that's how you use synthetic division to bypass non-monic problems as well. Most teachers don't really go this far, either because they are not aware that you can do this, or it might just be a little bit complicated for them to teach in class, which is fair enough. So this is not for everyone, but if you are comfortable with doing it this way, then you will save a lot of time compared to using long division. In my next video, I will show you how to take a polynomial and divide a quadratic expression using th synthetic division. It's quite, it's quite cool, in my opinion, although it is a little bit advanced. But uh, yeah, that's something you can look forward to. But that is all the time I have for this video, so be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And you can leave a comment below for what you would like to see in the future. I upload videos every Friday, so ring the bell if you want to receive more content in the future. Thanks, guys. See you next time.